Yeah, but when I was looking at the show, I was just thinking to myself, this is what, first of all, this is about to be some bullshit. <laughs> and then, but towards the end, I was like, this literally proves our point. Right, it really does. That the like, interracial dating it. doesn't I mean, it work. Said. You know what I mean? When you're living that pro black lifestyle, because, and you gotta think about it, Gabe, what's his name? I yeah, was very, so yeah, it was very, it was Gabe and Sam. Sam okay, yes. The main okay. Character. Gabe yes. was the white guy that she was dating uh -huh. on the low at first until it got exposed. Right. But Gabe, like, it's, he was trying to be down. Like, he was really trying yes. to, like, be a part of the cause or whatever. But it's like, no matter how much you try, if you're not living it, you really cannot make that full connection. Yeah. So, like, prime example, when he called the police on that party. Girl, we're gonna get to that. Oh my god. That's, okay, so basically what I feel like is it, it showed an example of activism on the show, but it they kind of played it safe. Yeah, they did. They really played it was like the type of activism that should they was like, okay, we want you to think, but we also don't want you to be too uncomfortable. I'm saying like for the white audience. Oh yeah, like, they white, a white really person radical with it at all. Like a white person could watch it and feel comfortable. Right. And talking about, about, you know, black history and stuff may be uncomfortable for some people, but that's okay because that's facts. Right, it is. You know what I mean? So I think that the show really kind of, you know, uh, tiptoed around a lot of things. They know it's it, 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 it kind of it, tiptoed around some It definitely took the soft and, you know, like, approach to it instead of just going straight like hardcore yes. and very radical with it. It was it was. It was it was kinda tame, but you could kinda see why they would because yeah. you can't, you know, you do too much of that and you don't get across the message that you're trying to get across to all audiences, unfortunately, yes. because some people are sensitive, but very sensitive. You know. And you know one other thing, this is a side note, uh about the sensitivity of uh, the media or the public or whatever, a lot of shows when you see police officers, a lot of shows and movies are playing on that police officer killing an unarmed young person. Oh, absolutely! But it's never portrayed what it really is—a white officer killing, a murdering a black, you uh, know, uh, right. individual. But in the, these shows, it's always like a black person, um, a black cop. Mur murdering an unarmed innocent white person. Yeah, they don't really take it to the to the reality of the situation. Yeah, I, right. I noticed that. I'm like, why? Okay, I That's keep seeing shots fired, and uh, this other show, Green Leaf, that I watched, which is not good. But <laughs> it's like if you're gonna portray it, portray it like it's really happening. At so least once. Exactly.